So this project is ground up new construction. Building is in the early stages, but they're stuck because they aren't happy with the floor plans that they originally had drawn up. And with the total renovation cost of over a million bucks, they called me because they really want to make sure they get their dream home. Hello, this is Sarah. Hey, Sarah, it's Allison. Hey, Allison, I'm here with Steve. How are you? Good. Hey, I'm here with Christy, my lead designer. We're really excited about your project. Yeah, we can't wait to see your ideas for our brand new home. So currently they have a full bath in their entryway on the first floor, which is totally pointless. It needs to be a powder room so I can open up the space a little bit. And they already have a full bathroom in the basement, so they don't need one. The fireplace is shoved in a corner and I don't design like that. So I need to center that and really make it a moment. And then I really have to give this place curb appeal because there just isn't any. Everything starts with your floor plans because it, it's all about space planning, it's all about the flow of the home, and then we start layering all the beautiful stuff. If you could find a fireplace or... Like a mantle? Yeah, exactly. We were talking about doing brass doors. Okay, yes. Talk to us just about your wants and needs in the basement. That coffee room on the planet, actually, home brewery. Did you say brewery? Home brewery, that's right. Whoa, that's fun. We've never done anything like that. Okay, so this was done with the architect, right? Yeah. right? And the first thing that we talked about was, you know, are you married to this? And you guys said no. My first reaction to this was just like, we need more. Curb appeal. Yeah, like dimension, texture, whether that's finding old pieces that we incorporate. Previously, we were trying to figure this out all on our own. Yeah, and it was going, okay. To me, I mean, you guys are a young couple, right? This, is... this didn't speak to you, this house didn't speak to you. This to me didn't, like, you know, it's just, I want to see more yeah. personality just on at least the facade. We don't disagree. Yeah. yeah. Did you pick out a paint color already or no? no. We need help Good. with everything. Yeah. Good. And we can't decide if we want to do white or dark. Okay. Um, well, you know we love a good black and white house. Yeah. I mean, these are all the wood floors you could pick from. And then with this, you get just that true, like, sophisticated farmhouse type feel. We're definitely feeling better about the process. We're pulling things out of drawers with Allison and her team, and we're mixing and matching, and it was all pretty fluid. You know, Allison and her team, you know, not only the layout of the house, but I would say in, in a two-minute span, laid a bunch of materials on the table, and somehow it all fit together. You know, for instance, there was one basically unutilized area entirely of the house. She pointed out and completely repurposed it, and we just didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. Okay, so yeah. you've got your list of homework, our list of homework, and so the next steps really are getting the floor plans to you for the architect and the GC to yeah. review and approve mm -hmm. and then put into uh, the building department. Will do. Cool. There's something very comforting about going back to my roots of working with clients. It's very demanding. It's also a lot of opinions. But I feel like I'm at a totally different place in my career right now where I am being hired because they love what I do. The next few months are all about heavy construction. Foundation. Framing. Windows. And roofing. So today, me and Chris here are meeting with Gary, their GC, to finalize these design plans. My major concern is holding things up. I didn't agree to do this job so I could somehow delay them. So we need to get things going. This is always gonna be your front entrance, right? And so the main change is really just, obviously the double doors and then the use of materials. One of the major changes was the side elevation. It's a corner lot, so you get to really see this house from the front and the side, and it's a big impact. Right now, it just wasn't a big enough impact. You know, they really wanted to do these double doors just to give it a little bit of depth. We went from a single door to a double mm -hmm. door, centering things out, giving them a true covered patio. Okay, and then all our fascia is gonna be black, correct? Yeah, right up yeah. close to the roof line. Right. We needed to change the window layouts so we could accommodate a real banquette seating area for dining. The banquette area that I wanted to create creates just an invitation to chill or fine dine. 
and nobody's using a formal dining room these days, especially not a young couple like this. So I wanted them to have flexibility, and by getting rid of that true dining space and cornering it, we changed the window layout, we changed the kitchen layout, and the orientation of it just feels so right. I'm telling you too, from the outside, just the outside alone, that's a, it's a big house. It's huge, big house. Another really big change was the front entry. Um, it just felt so cramped. It was a single door. This house deserves double doors. It deserves a big entry. Now you have a real entry here. Mm -hmm. This feels mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. And you've got plenty of room now between the doors and the closet because we got rid of the shower. So now it's just a powder room. To have double doors a double door, yeah. was truly the biggest change for us, design-wise. So I love that we just kind of flopped it, moved it downstairs, and gave us this real feel of, a, it's a grand entry. It really is. It feels more formal. It does. And this is our new area. New windows, banquette, tons of light. Obviously the island. So the feel is great in here. But the only way we we're going to be able to get more space in that entry was to get rid of the full bathroom, which should really be a powder room. And by turning it into a true powder room, we gain that space to get that grand entry. What are you doing on the floor here? This is all going to be wood flooring, and it's mm. awesome. And it just gives us that really clean look. And we're going to run those planks so it just brings your eye back to this huge space. The plan for the kitchen is white quartz countertops and gray stained cabinets. It's going to be transformed and complete with a custom banquette for an informal seating approach that can also become formal. The family room will get an antique mantle and custom built-ins by Ari. Work is in full swing at the house, and I'm heading off to Atlanta for a little shopping trip. I am in my element here at Architectural Accents. I get inspired by shopping. I may not know what I'm looking for, but the minute I find it, it truly becomes a domino effect for me. And it's like kismet. Hi, I'm in heaven. I don't even know how to explain this place to you. I know that Steve and Sarah wanted a really unique mantle, and I think I just found theirs. So the plan for the mantle is that this mantle would be the inspiration for the rest of the built-ins, because we're not just doing this fireplace, we're doing full built-ins for them. And Ari's gonna make it, so really that mantle is gonna inspire the design for the rest of it. Work on the Schmitz house is moving along. Drywall's going up. The double brass doors are being installed. And siding and cedar panels are being added to the exterior of the house. So, fun idea for Steve. He is um, so into beer. Did you say brewery? Oh, brewery, that's right. Whoa, a beer man. He's asking me what kind of beer I want. He's gonna make me my own beer. So I feel like he's doing that for me. I wanna do something really special for him. He's doing a brew room in his in basement. His basement. Oh, cool. So my thought is, what if we do, and have you ever done, beer taps? Uh, no, but I could definitely make one. Would it be fun? Yeah. It'd be fun because you've never done it. Yeah, let me draw something up. I got some ideas. Yeah, let's get. I've had clients do very special things. Very special, like one client named their house after me. But beer? Never had anyone make a beer. So, ooh, yeah, 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 see, you make yours, and mine's brass. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can do this out of brass. Do his on a big square, too? No, I would do the same shape like that and the hop, and then you can do whatever coming down. What if I get his logo, and then you just sear it? So when Ari and I were kind of imagineering it, he's like, I want mine to be like an old spindle. So we went exploring around the farm. He had like a bucket of spindles and we just chose three out of there for each of us. Look at us yeah. making beer taps. <laughs> Finding something old and making it new and to be able to use it in this way is fun, creative, and definitely memorable. We are out in Evanston today at Steve and Sarah's place. They've been living here for a couple months and I just can't wait to see how they're loving it and living in it. Hello. Hello. Pretty awesome. So just driving up, 
it's like this like, ah, moment. Yes. I mean, the doors are like reflecting yeah. the sun and then the mix of wood and white and stone and black. It is, it is amazing. I exactly. love the cedar. I'm glad we did what we did. Good. It looks great. It's a whole new face of yep. house. <laughs> Welcome. I love this. When I walk in a front door, I want to be wowed. And I am wowed. I know it's really hard to go off of what your initial floor plans were versus like what you live in now, but this would have been so smaller. cramped. Here. It's really opened up. You're just beelining it. And the floors. Yeah, we love the floors. That Look was, at these. These floors are amazing. With three dogs, a baby on the way, I mean, these floors are indestructible. I don't worry about scratching. It's just like, no hassle. See? No worries. Doesn't it feel wider? It feels yes. great. Look at the maid's face. Yeah. yeah. I'm in love. And then how about this? That was so important to us, bringing in the bank head idea, yeah. because we didn't want a formal dining room, but this gives us the best of both. Yeah, but you can also do a casual breakfast or lunch at the bank head. So it's all about being smart with the space, and we did that. We raised the windows up behind the bank head. We gave the side elevation of the house from the exterior some major appeal by adding different window elevations, but then also bringing that pine back in with the siding and the black window trim. Now in the kitchen. So we took stock cabinetry that is beautiful on its own, and we made it look custom. And we did that by having Ari come in and wrap the island. I love that it's a custom island. I love that they were willing to take a risk and go a little deeper and darker. And we did it not with a pink color, we did it with a stain color. So we've got the stain grain and the gray. You can still see all of the knots in the grain of the wood, but then we lightened it and brightened it up with the countertop. So the countertop being all white, the appliances being all white, and then bringing in the brass with not just the hardware, but the hood. This is a piece of art. It is. We love the hood. I mean, it's just so gorgeous, and I love cooking under it. This whole wall is a full built-in. Yeah. Yes. And it all started with this. Yes. So to find that mantle in Atlanta and know that this simple, beautiful, old piece is now going to become something so gorgeous. Well, and it makes it look like one piece. Right. I love how the arch on the top matches the arch on the fireplace. This is what Ari is so great at. Yeah. You would never assume that this was their original right. and that was built around it. It's just, it's, it's so good in here. I mean, you're not kidding. This is full scientist kind of stuff. Like. This was one space where I knew how to design better than you. Yes, exactly. And I would never say that, but you are 100% right. I was like, I'm not messing with you. We picked these out. These are old spindles from old staircases. This is the finish on the island. Oh my this gosh. is obviously the black accents throughout, and then we really wanted your one on cool. yours. Do you like it? Oh yeah. Is this my beer? Yeah. You want to try it? Yes. Let's go sit in the kitchen. Okay, let's do it. I mean, I'm excited.